Hey guys, welcome back to Chevelle TV. Today I have a video for you with some rogue tips and tricks that are currently relevant for Tolagor. We're not going to go over any boss tactics or anything like that. We're going to go cover the relevant skips and tricks that you see us do on stream all the time. So let's jump straight into it with the shroud at the start. When your group has a demon hunter and a rogue, do not use this. The be instead, you're going to use it later on uh, on the stairs. But if you do not have a demon hunter, we're shrouding to the first trash pack that is on the boss. This will save you a few seconds. A minor little boss tip I can give you is you can use cloak and faint on upheaval. This will either negate most of the damage or nullify it entirely. If your comp has a rogue and a demon hunter, this is where things are going to get interesting. Have the demon hunter imprison one of the mobs at the top of the stairs and the rogue sap the other. Imprison and sap are the only two CCs in the game that will not aggro, uh, have the enemies aggro if you come close to them so your party can safely walk past. The next room, there are two different ways to do this. Currently the popular one is not getting any of the buffs. I'm going to explain both of these. If you're not getting any of the buffs here, have your rogue distract the patrol so they do not bother anyone whilst you skip. Then go to the gate, sap one of the mobs at the gate, blind the other. This blind can be cast in stealth. After blinding, stand on top of the blinded mob and open the gate. It's important to stay on top of the mobs while your team passes since the blinded one will actually aggro the person closest to it because blind is not sap or in prison. Once your group is safely passed, you walk away and you vanish. This will drop all threat and you'll be safe. If you're opting to get the buffs from the prisoners in Toldegore, the way you do that as a rogue is very easy. First, the patrol on the bridge has to be eliminated because the mob that leads the patrol has stealth detection. This, If that one's up, you are not free to get any of the buffs. Maybe the ones on the right if you're lucky. Once the patrol is taken care of, you can start looking for friendly NPCs that are located in the jail cells. If you spot one, you can stand on the side of the jail and open it through the wall, line of sight in the enemy inside and freeing your uh, friendly NPC. If, if the cell on the far left has a friendly NPC in it, there is going to be an obstacle for you to pass. The three guards in front of it will aggro if you just walk up to it and open the cell. This is a no-no. This is not going to work because you're going to die. The trick to this is stealthing and sapping one of the guards, blinding the other, and then once you're ready, you cheap shot the third one and then open the cell as fast as you can. You can open the cell while the guard is in uh, cheap shot. Once the cell is open, you vanish, drop all threat, you've gotten all the buffs for your group, and you're alive. Well done. The next skip is on the stairs right after the room with the cells and the NPCs that give you buffs. The rogue shrouds the party before they move up and then saps the mob on the far right so you can all pass. There's no need to rush here since you have plenty of time. Once your party is all past the first pack, sap the last mob at the very top and then move into the uh, Jess Howler area of the dungeon. The next skip is after killing Jess Howler. You kill the mobs on the stairs and then go to work. Get your party to stay behind on the stairs so you can CC both of the mobs outside. The trick to CCing stealth detected mobs is distracting them and having them face away from you. Then sprinting in, sapping, and after the sap you can blind the second mob. After you've blinded, you unstealth just like in earlier in the dungeon. Stand on top of it, have your party pass, and move to the gate. Note that if you have a demon hunter, you can just imprison one of the mobs and sap the other. And then everyone can just walk past without any shenanigans. After the group has passed and you've vanished, open the gate and shroud to the cannons. Once you've successfully reached the cannons, there is three little tricks you need to know. One is always tricks of the trade your tank before jumping in the cannon. And once Trix runs out, get out, renew it, and get back in. 
tricks of the trade will not get used, but the threat will be transferred over to the tank regardless. This makes sure that you, as a rogue, do not get any of the threat. You get to freely shoot and the tank can just kite the mobs. The other two tricks are areas that I will mark in the video where you shoot the wall, which will allow you to pull mobs from the inside. After the third boss, you do the trick again for sapping stealth detection mobs by distracting and sprinting or grappling in with your sap. After that, shroud the two casters in the corner that are near the cannon, and then once you reach the stairs, have your party wait while you mount up and pull the mobs at the top of the stairs. Get a good bit of distance between you and them, once, and then once your group is inside, you vanish, so they reset. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below, and I'll see you guys again next time for another BFA guide.